Hello and welcome again to another video here on TriHack Me. We're gonna tackle the room called Committed. It's a brand new room. Um, I don't know how many did it. I think um, not a lot. I did it, as you can see, but um, it's quite easy. I think when they launched this, it was hard as a difficulty. I think. I must be honest, I think they just misclicked, <laughs> because this is rather easy. Now what I did is I booted up a machine, um, and then I need to use the uh, this split view. What I really did, I let me just terminate this connection, what I really did was just basically to download the, um, the file that is located on the machine. It is located on the, as you can see here, home Ubuntu committed on that machine that you can get through the split view. Uh, you will find this commit file. I just basically started, you know, a Python web server just like that on on the other machine, and then just w get that file and download to my machine because you know the the, the, the virtual split view machine they are pretty crabby. I must be honest, they're they're not that good. But then it works and it gets the job done. It's just dirty. I don't like it. I like speed. I like my things to react and work where I can install things. You know, I guess most of you think that way. But um, nevertheless, I downloaded it and then I kind of decided to unzip it. So I just wrote unzip, you know, uh, uh, like you see here. And then I got the folder called committed. What I then did, I downloaded the uh, extractor which is a uh, script that you can find on GitHub. Let me just see, you can find the link pretty fast here. It's gonna be this link. I'm gonna post it in my uh, description down below in the video. And in the extractor, which is a GitHub library on, um, yes, GitHub, <laughs> there is a library called extractor here and the folder server, you just download this file here so you can click it and basically say raw, you know, copy paste the URL go back and just W get it just like that, you know, here, you have right there. When you did that, you're gonna end up with a folder looking exactly like this. Um, unless you haven't, that you, you have no extract folder yet. The way you're gonna do this is you're gonna run the bash uh, extractor ship, uh, script, sorry, on the committed folder, which is this one here, and you're gonna, extract all the content you can find inside of this to um, extract. Now that that's a lot of, you know, the thing is, if you go into um, committed, you can say git lock, and then you're gonna find all these different kind of branches and stuff you can download, you know, I, I'm just thinking, no, it's too much, too much. So instead of this, you can use the tool called extractor, which is gonna extract everything and when you run that command you're gonna get this folder called extract and inside that folder here you're gonna find the different commits and whatever's inside of them now what is easy just to run a, a, a grab command for example like this so you're gonna do a recursive grab command and say look for stuff with flag and you get the flag it's a quite easy room um, it's just extracting the git stuff looking for something and we knew that we're going to get the password. We can also just be a bit more specific and say, I want to look for the word called password and you would get somewhat the same here and there. And some of them would be password go here and there. And you can see the different kind of main files and the Python script that you were going to um, find the password for. Now, of course, how could I know all these kind of things? Well, inside the uh, committed, there was a Python script called main. If you cat that out, you notice that it, 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 it's just a script, you know, trying to do stuff with SQL and, and Python. But there's a password there. It says password goes to there. And that is the password you're gonna need. Now, it could also be the username, but yeah, I don't think so. It's the password. So the password is the one you're gonna look for. By downloading all different kind of branches, as we did here, we can just, you know, grab it and find the password, or you can be more sneaky and say, I know that TriHackMe is going to use the, the, the format called flag or TMH or something like that. And, and, and basically that's the way you can do it. 
and then you're gonna answer the question and you're done the machine. It's a straightforward little room. I understand that this is probably more like information, not, not even a challenge, but it's really easy. And, and I just, I, I I just want to show you that these kind of helpful scripts online, you can download a full, you know, a Git repository and just search it for the way you want to do. So if you have someone that like, oops, I committed it, then you got it. You find the flag, you find the password, you find the missing link, that's really it. So click the bell, subscribe to my channel if you want to get new future notifications of video that I upload. I hope to see you again online and until next time you'll see happy, happy day and have a really nice hacking, exploiting day or whatever you're gonna call this. <laughs> I'm so silly. Have a nice day. Thank you.